welcome back. In honor of 2023, I have been on a journey of choosing some hobbies, not habits, <laughs> hobbies. I don't know, as an adult, it's really easy to just kind of get stuck in the day-to-day -day struggle of the mundane, but we're not about that anymore. 2023 was about my mental health. No, I mean, that's not necessarily true because I didn't figure that out until like the end of the summer. But regardless, I'm in a good place now. I want some hobbies to, we'll say two. I wanna learn how to draw and procreate, but that's kind of like, I'm not, I'm not like super few about one. I want to um, learn how to do my own nails. I did them for the first time. I did like little, they're, they're gel. And then I have these like gel press on, glue on things. I made them way too long this first time. Um, and it's so hard to unbutton the boys car seat. <laughs> I don't know if I can cut them still. The other one that I'm really excited about is film photography and also just like putting more interest and effort into videography, normal photography, and all that sort of stuff. But I'm, I'm going off on a tangent. I don't know the real direction of this channel at the moment. I don't think there is one. I don't know if I want there to be one. I just want it to be little bits and pieces, very laid back and casual, very personable, and not feel like it needs to be as like buttoned up as Femhead is. One of my goals for winter, and one of the ways we're embracing it, is we're gonna declutter the house because I feel like minimalism just does a person good. Having too much clutter and stuff, it messes with my mind. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do a deep declutter and I'm just gonna bring you along. I'm not gonna do it all in one video because it's gonna take me a while, I'm sure, because you know, back in the day it was just me and now I have a lot more people that I'm responsible for. But anyways, I'm talking here in Theo's room because I need to make his bed and stuff, but also because I put Mickey on for Lincoln. I think he's teething right now. He might be a little sick. Something's going on. He's just, he needs a little him time. So we're gonna go back in there, but I just wanted to say hello. If you guys were here three years ago, <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. That is not my copy. And it's crazy to think that it has been nearly three years since I last posted on this channel, but for good reason. Becoming a mom is really hard, just in general, but also it was just hard on my like mental health. It was just a really hard adjustment. And it takes you a while to figure it out and to find your new normal and find your new like balance and happiness and all that sort of stuff. And it just, it's not, while motherhood is, in a sense, what you expect, there's a lot that you don't expect or don't know to expect. And it's just, it's hard sometimes. Um, but we're in a good place now. I'm loving motherhood, figuring it out. And just, yeah, I feel like I have a good grasp on motherhood and now I can like focus on myself, if that makes sense. But also because Christmas is coming up and if you have children, you know, you get so much stuff for your kids, which is like so nice, but also you just have so much stuff. Um, so I'm gonna start in my room with the decluttering because I feel like that would be easy because I went through my closet recently and so I don't feel like it's gonna be, like my room's easy because there's not a lot of stuff in there. Um, and then we're gonna do like the bathroom linen closet and then we're gonna come in here and you know what it would be great if I could just do it all in one day do up here in one day but I don't know if that's gonna happen so all my ideas for vlogs are or they just videos um just you know day in the life decluttering morning routines night routines how I do certain things or think about certain things Psycho vlogs. I'm currently finishing up one of those for my main channel. And just, I don't know, whatever. Discovering and like finding my new hobbies. I think that would be a fun topic to talk about. There are certain rooms where if you just come do a quick reset, you can like manage things. Don't mind Mickey in the background. Hopefully that doesn't get me like in trouble. But I have a garbage sack. Well, I have two of them. One's for actual garbage because just, you'd be surprised. It just builds up. And then the other one is for things to donate. And my first stop, it's an easy one. It's right here. These are all the books that I've been reading. 
or I just like, but I've been reading so many on my Kindle. Diapers that I need to get more of. Oh, hello, Lincoln. I don't need your help, love. I broke my temp drop band, like the little plastic part. Also, where did I even put it? Came down because Lincoln wants some ice in here. And I've been using this sock, but it's like too tight, and so it cuts off the circulation. I feel like, what are the benefits of minimalism? And I have not like really practiced minimalism since like having kids, like to a degree, but like people are so particular about what minimalism is <laughs> that I haven't like made videos because people are like, that's way too much stuff. You can't call yourself a minimalist. Wow, wow. But also, funnily enough, one of my like top videos on my other channel is Path Like a Minimalist. And people are like, this is so much stuff. Blah, blah, blah. So we don't call ourselves a minimalist anymore. But I was going to kick. I took an old sock because I saw this. One of the girl, this girl commented that this is what she did. And I had already cut it just like this, but I'm gonna cut it over here and try to cut like the little elastic band that goes around your ankle. So hopefully this is not as like restrictive on my arm. We'll see. So easy for clutter to just build up as we all know. And it just finds all these little like nooks and crannies to get into, you know? So I keep my temp drop up there. One of my best purchases this fall was a Kindle. Let's see. Baby monitor. Just going through, I'm gonna pull out the things that like I wanna keep up here, things that need to go away. Oh, I need to take one of these downstairs. I'll keep one of them up. Random headbands that need to go back. I need to go through my headbands and get rid of some. So, cords. We've got that charger. Let's pull this one out. Wedding boots, have not worn them in like five years. While they're sentimental, I am not. A belt, literally never wear it. So this is what we're looking at over here. Bathrobes we're gonna keep, but we're gonna move them temporarily. Make sure there's something in my purse. These bags, hairspray and some lip gloss. Well, I have a lot of great memories with this jacket. I got it for free, because it was a lost and found. It's time to pass it on. It's a great travel. Diaper bag. It's not an actual diaper bag, but I use it as that because I don't like taking big diaper bags anymore. It's something I'm probably gonna have to say goodbye to over in the boys' room. These here, I've got this backpack, which is okay. That's done right here. Okay, this little section. More hats. Not really been wearing, but I know I wear more in the warmer months. This one is. My, it's like a warm underlayer, but I want to keep it because it's good for like snow and sledding and stuff. But my jean jacket, it's too small. It's my like gardening hat or you know, sun protection in the summer. I want this to be flat though, so. This felt hat I got forever ago because I thought it was so cool and I wanted to be this girl, but I'm not. I feel good to get rid of stuff. I got this in Thailand such good memories but i think it's time to pass her along okay and then we have clothes which i've like gone through these recently so i don't think i have that much but sometimes i keep stuff out of guilt because i feel like if people gave me something or got me something i should keep it i need to fine tune you know and my style has changed last year i was much more still like just loved wearing leggings and hoodies, but I'm not feeling that this year. Do some sorting as I go through stuff. Because sometimes when I'm doing laundry, I just, just shove it in here, you know? Dresses, I like these. Don't like this one anymore. You know, sometimes you're just in the mood and like it goes really easily. I've been through a lot, but it's just, it's not the right length. And it feels so light after this. It's amazing how your style changes over the years. All these. I didn't have a hanger to my name in here until now. Working our way through here. Huh. Taking stuff out and folding it. Biker shorts. Actually, those need to be just tossed. Let's put sets all over here. Biker shorts, spandex shorts. Kind of, I put things in the order of well, how I'll wear them, or like whether I'll wear them. But, okay. It is a little, a couple days later. 
but I realized I didn't get a chance to finish the video. But I wanted to show you what I got done in here. So in here we have a closet. Here's my current clothes. Here's some extra hangers, extra hangers. This is all of my like nail stuff because I don't have a good place to store it yet. Um, then I have some camera stuff, my new, oh, I should show you guys this, my new camera. And then over here, underwear, sock drawers, swimsuits, um, shorts, and then like sets. And then I have pants and that's that. I'm excited to start the channel back up. I started editing the video and that's what made me realize I didn't like conclude it. But anyways, this came in the mail yesterday. There's no film in there, so I'll save the rest of that for my next video because we're, we're going to be around people, aren't we? Yeah. Here's two adult hobbies, you guys, and I'll be talking about them hopefully continuously on the channel. Okay, that's all for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!